How's it going out there? How do you measure ankle dorsiflexion? We have our handy dandy ankle dorsiflexion blocks. Three inch block, two inch block, one inch block, a half inch block. Remember the ability to dorsiflex your ankle is the ability for your knee to shoot forward over your toes with your heel staying down. This is an important motion for any time you walk, because when you walk, your back ankle dorsiflexes, or when you squat, you need to be dorsiflexing. So to measure and to know your numbers is really important to be able to determine if you're making progress when you stretch or mobilize or get treated or do anything in regards to your ankles. So you start with your knee at the wall and then touch and you can see my heels down so I have this range of motion. Now I start adding blocks. Have it, one inch, two inch, got it. Three inches, good. Four, my ankle's getting kind of tight. Five, and I have this ability, I feel my heel coming up, so I'm not going any farther, but this is a full range of motion, five inches for most people, and I have the ability to do this. If you don't have blocks, don't worry. You can just as easily move the blocks out of the way, get your ruler, put it down, and just literally put your foot right over the, the ruler and see how far away from the wall you can get. If you're mobilizing for a month, three times a week, stretching however much you're stretching, foam rolling your calf, your foot, getting physical therapy and your ranges of motion are not increasing, something is wrong, it's time to figure out what the problem is and get answers. This is Dr. Chris with Barefoot Rehab and how to measure ankle dorsiflexion.